So I'm playing a, a Hydra deck, and uh, it does okay. I, there are, see, there aren't that many, like, you can play an elf deck in Arena, and there are elves all over the place. You can make, like, every creature in the deck an elf. There aren't that many Hydras uh, to do that with in Arena. So uh, I did ha have a lot of mana ramp with, uh, you know, the Land of War Elves, Paradise Druid, things like that. There's one of them. Uh, the other one is the Voracious Hydra. I got four of those, four of these guys here. Uh, two, uh, or I think I have three of the Hadroid Crasises and the Gargoth uh, Vicious Watcher, whatever the hell it is. It, 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 it's awesome. It really does work if you can enchant it. Or even your opponents will accidentally target it, forget what it can do, and just mow down their own creatures by accident. Uh, so it's a pretty fun deck to play. Um, I am getting an M20 bundle in the mail tomorrow that I hope to open and make a video out of. I, I, there, I doubt I'm going to come out ahead. Uh, I just doubt it. Just uh, it's, it's more for fun. I actually like the set. Uh, I know... Uh, there he is. That's just an excellent card. Uh, I know that... Um, I'll enter it tapped. M19 wasn't looked upon too fondly, and I, I can see why. But there are a lot of good cards in M20, and... Again, I, I just like the set. I think they improved it. And what I've been doing is having ley lines, uh, one of each, uh, in the it, it, one of each color in the whatever deck I'm playing with. So there is a ley line of abundance here. In fact, I think I have two of them in here uh, because it does help pump up the hydras, and especially if you can get it out on the first turn. So come on, let's see here. How many of these do we have? I want to get out. Well, I'll play him. And I will play a Growth Spiral after... Okay, so he's figuring out whether or not to murder him. Come on. There you go. All right, so what he'll do... Well, I just... You know, no, I'll wait. I will, uh, that's what you're supposed to do. Wait till your opponent's end of turn. And, and I guess that's what I will do. So what the hell does this thing do? When I enter the battlefield, choose up to one target creature with a flying, you don't show blah, 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 blah. All right, whatever. You can't do anything. Come on, let's go. There you go. So I'm happy my son passed his swimming test. He's uh, he's seven going on eight, and he passed his swimming test. What the hell is that? Uh, Gains mass and so <laughs> Okay, whatever. All right. I think there's a reason we don't see that thing played that, mu uh, that much, but whatever. Okay, so... Let's see what this guy decides to do. Come on. You gonna attack or not? Let's go. End of combat. Alright, now I'll play it. Oh, good. Alright, that works. I'll untap next turn. Alright, and so now this turn I will put out a Hydra. Perfect. Alright, so which Hydra to put out? I, I guess I'll put out the Krasis. Now, uh, so that one, two, three, four, five. Alright, I'll put out a six, six. Boop, boop, see what happens here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now it can easily be murdered, but at least I've gained some life and got some cards. So uh, all, all is good. Like I said, you got to weed out their murders and their Liliana's sacrifices, whatever the hell they're called. I don't, I really have no idea. Um, so yeah, my son passed the swimming test. We belong to a local uh, community like, there you go, the Chupacabra. Hey, senor, the Chupacabra gonna kill the Hydra crisis. Okay, um, it is what it is. It is what it is. And now you can attack. Go ahead. All right, let's uh, let's throw out another Hydra. See what they do. Throw out a land. Let's throw out this guy. So the last one was this one can be. I think this one can be eight. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, let's let's do eight. Uh, yeah, let's do eight. What the heck? Why not? Okay, and he's probably got another thing to kill it. And if that's the case, that's the case. Come on. Oh, all right. That's all right. I can deal with that. Not a problem. Uh, can he murder this thing coming up? Nope. Okay. Now, do I have anything? I do have a couple of ravenous bites in the deck. And, um... <laughs> all right all right fair enough all right so uh, gargos is coming out next turn that's for sure come on 
come on. There we go. <laughs> Alright. Um, you know what I'm going to do? i got to put this guy out. And you know what I'll do also? Should I wait? I'll put out this one. And I'll make a really big hydrocrisis the next turn. There we go. Alright. Let's pass the turn. So. Uh, so happy Friday, everybody. Nothing exciting planned for the week. I'm just going to do some yard work. Might watch my uh, nephew at the lake. I was watching him last week. I have a little uh, two-year-old nephew. Uh, you know, his, his, his dad's, uh, it's, it's a long story. So I'm just keeping an eye on him. He's waddling around in the lake. And I swear to God, there's a hundred, a hundred-year-old guy. He, I know this because he wouldn't stop telling us. You know, I'm a hundred years old and I'm still swimming. Um, so he's in... He's in the lake, a hundred-year-old guy is in the lake, my two-year-old nephew is in the lake, and they look at each other and smile, and a lot of people are thinking, circle of life, and I'm thinking, who's going to pee in the lake first? Answer, me, because I really had to go, and I figure it's a lake, there are a lot of frogs and turtles and stuff like that that poop in the lake, so, you know, you got to go, you got to go. Let's see, now he's attacking again, what are these guys doing here? All right. Tell you what, we'll block, we'll block you, we'll block you, and we'll block you. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what shenanigans he's got lined up. Come on. He can sacrifice. I guess he can sacrifice. Oh, uh, okay, there we go. Okay, fair enough. Okay, this thing is fucking awesome. All right, pardon me. I hope I hope uh, YouTube doesn't take me down because I said a bad word. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we'll do seven, and we'll have him fight that bastard. Let's go. Boom. All right. Shkaboom. All right. Now let's see if he lives long enough to attack next turn. So, what the hell does this thing do? Return target land. All right, whatever. Um, all right, now the crisis. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, we'll do... You know what I'll do? I'm going to do... I'll do five. I'll do five, just because I want to have a couple of guys still around. Just have all the lands. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And should I? Yeah, I'll just have them hanging around. Now I will attack with my Hydra. There's no reason not to. Go ahead and block him. Now he doesn't have Death Touch or anything, does he? No, good. Okay, good. And turn. All right, now let's see what this guy can do. Hmm. Well, I've never seen this guy plays a bunch of cards. I don't even see a Fungus Zombie. This spell costs one for each creature card in your graveyard. How many do you have? Oh, whatever. Come on. You have one card. I mean, it's... Good. You can kill the Krasis. Which one is better to kill? Because something really big is going to come out next turn. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Fair enough. Pass the turn, pal. Come on. What does that thing cost? Okay. He doesn't have trample, so I fit. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. Boop. Boop. <laughs> all right, and we're going to make a big hydra now. Let's see. One. You know what I'm going to do? Uh... Screw it, I'm going to put out these guys, just just to be on the safe side. And if he's around long enough next turn... Alright, I am going to attack him with both these guys, let's go. Now, I don't know if he's got some kind of a board wipe, but uh, he's dead next turn, unless he can do something. So yeah, I got, I got beat down pretty good. Yeah, good game, I'll give this guy a good game. Uh, 
pretty good at the start of the game and uh, just got to hang in there. Shaboom, he gave up. So that's the Hydra deck and you, you've seen how it works and it's it's pretty fun. I actually enjoy it. It's still a work in progress here. Let's go see what else is in it. Uh, go to my decks here. All right, so. Come on. All right. So yeah, it's got the Land of War Elves, Druid of the Cows, one Incubation Druid, just because I have it, Leafkin Druid, four Paradise Druids. So the Rabbit Bites work excellently with uh, this guy here. Uh, it's, it's just really a powerful card. I do have one Prodigious Growth in here, which can end the game on any of the big Hydras. Um, I do have three Hydra Crasises. I've got those four Hungering Hydras, four Voracious Hydras. I think really two of those guys really is all you need. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm actually okay with that. Uh, I do have a Biogenic Ooze, which will probably be taken out uh, when I get that fourth Hydro Crisis. And really, I just need to probably tinker with the land base a little bit, because the only blue I have in the deck are the Hydroid Crisises and a couple of Growth Spirals, and that's it. And so I have, I think, far too many um, uh, slow, uh, like, tapped lands coming in, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to figure that out. But I do have a Pain Land that I'll keep, and one of the ones that comes in if you have a Forest or an Island. So... So that's my Hydra deck. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon.